So let's talk about your football team. A lot of the California teams don't know anything about you. Tell us the history of Minico. Uh, I know that you're ranked number one until you got upset in the playoffs last year. And uh, tell, tell us about your team last year and what you have coming back this year. You know, we're a program that was, uh, the high school was built in the 50s. And um, we're, we're a very large county high school. We have about uh, 1,200 kids, grades 9 through 12. Had some success early in the 50s and the 60s, and then our program really struggled all the way from the 70s to the 90s. It was a point in time where they lost 28 games in a row, and uh, we really, we're really proud of our uh, kids right now. We're playing some pretty good football. This is my 17th year as the coach. I have the same group of guys, same staff that uh, that uh, we brought on that first year I was there, and it's just uh, it's been it's been a real fun ride. And our our kids have had some success, like you said. Uh, we won six out of the last seven state um, or conference championships. Uh, we've been in the playoffs since 2004. And, uh, we're just we're hoping to, to uh, turn the corner here and uh, win a state championship. You know, and, and try to bring some ho home some big big time hardware. So we're getting closer. That's why we like games like this. It gives us an opportunity to get outside of um, the state of Idaho and make our football program better. You've got a big lineman. It's uh, got a couple offers. Tell me about your team this year. We have a nice team. It's uh, it's a little different team from last year. We were really a power football team. Um, this year we'll, we'll be we'll be able to run the football. We do have Brett Thompson returning on the line. He's six foot five. He's three hundred twenty five pounds. Uh, teams know that we're going to run the football behind him, but it really sets up some other things for us, especially away from him. Okay. And then uh, what do you know about McClymans, if anything? You know, McClymans, uh, just from what we've seen on YouTube, is extremely fast. Our coaches were fortunate. Uh, we went to a Frank Glazier coaches clinic in Concord and uh, we're able to go and visit McClymans and uh, see De La Salle and we know what kind of football they play out there in California and it's um, McClymans is a, it's a special place. I, it's a really tough neighborhood but they have a beautiful football facility and you can tell that their kids are there to play football and it's important to them. And uh, you guys might be making a trip to the beach. I mean, uh, you just told me that a, a few of your kids, maybe all your kids, have never seen the sand and ocean? Well, we come from a community that we have a, a lot of very wealthy farmers, but then we have some, um, some poor families, too, and it's quite a mix of kids. And we have some kids that will never leave the state of Idaho, so this is a great opportunity for them. And one of the things we'd like to do is take them to see the ocean because they might not ever have a chance to get back there again.